let's discuss filtering. If you want to add a filter in your list view, come up to the top and add a filter. What you're filtering by, what you're really doing is narrowing your search. So you'll see we have 27 records here. And I want to be able to narrow that search based on the assignee, which I'm going to put my name in here. And maybe I want to look at status as well. So just start typing in. And maybe I want to see everything that is new, that is assigned, that is in progress, and it's assigned to me. And now what I'm going to see is that I've built a filter on those 27 records. I've finished with three of those records that are assigned to me, and they're in the new, assigned, or in progress status. Now, if I want to save this, I come over to Save, Assigned to Me, and I'll just say Open. Okay, save it as a new filter. And then what will happen is, when you come back to these saved filters, you'll see the, the list of them here. So I've got one assigned to me, and it's open. I've got one called Actual Award Date. And if you want to get rid of them, you want to remove them, just click on that trash can. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete it? And then if you want to edit, click on the pencil. The pencil allows you to do an edit, come back, and then save. Okay, update that existing. All right. So anytime you want to clear out a filter, you can do that by just clicking on these pills, the X on the pills, and it will clear it out. Okay. And X this out. You have nothing in there now. You can even delete that if you want. And you can do a refresh if you want it to go back to um, its original state.